Hello. I really want to address something about this Mandela effect that people are talking about. Because now it's starting to hit home here. Especially on my job. Now it's... I just witnessed and went through a crazy experience with a co-worker. Now, I just started working my job. I've been on my job now for about almost three years. Now, the first beginning of my job, I was cool with everybody, I guess. You know, I stayed to myself, really, but, you know, people that approached me and wanted to talk to me, I was always cool with everybody. So, this one particular girl, I'm not saying her name, but, you know, me and her was real cool at first, you know. But then, it, when it got close to around, like, I think it was like 2014, going to 2015 of December of 2014, out of nowhere, like when we came back from the Christmas break or whatever, and we came back to work, out of nowhere, she just stopped talking to me. Like, I went, I remember going to her, and I was saying a joke to her, and she just instantly just, she didn't say nothing. She didn't look my way. She wouldn't say nothing to me or nothing. So I'm looking like, okay. I walked away from her because, hey, I can read in between the lines. I'll leave you alone. I stopped talking to her. I just completely stopped talking to her. She wasn't talking to me. And this was going on for about four or five months. And it was times when we, we and her had to work side by side together. And we were, it was so awkward because we wasn't talking to each other. And nobody wasn't aware of it because we didn't say anything about it. So out of nowhere, I had a dream. Then out of nowhere, I had a dream. As no four or five months went by, I had a dream. I had a dream that me and her became back friends again and everything so in the dream she would like oh you acting funny don't be so hard see you was acting funny with me then i was like now you was acting funny with me that's how we were in the dream talking and we start talking and laughing and we were back friends in the dream then out of nowhere i think about like days later don't you know that fucking dream came true it came freaking true she started talk she started talking to me and everything, we started back talking. And ever since that day we started back talking, we have been real, real close and everything. Like, every time we went to work and everything, we talked, we joke, we laughed, we talked about serious things, you know. She understand me, I understand her. It was like, now we, we're, like, here now with each other. But, like, some weeks ago, she came to me and she was talking because she was having, like, trouble with another friend. And she was telling me about how the other friend, you know, she don't want to be friends with her anymore. And how, you know, if I, if I don't talk to you, then just leave me alone. And she said, then this is what she said to me. And this will mess me up. She said, Clarissa. Then she's from another country. I think she's from somewhere, uh, Trinidad, Trinidad or something like that. She was like, Clarissa. And then she said, do you remember when me and you got into it and I just stopped talking to you? You left me alone. I'm looking like, what do you mean? Yeah, what the hell did happen? Because I'm looking like, we didn't get into, me and her never, I'm telling y'all, from what I remember, me and her never passed words. Me and her never got into it. I never got into it with nobody on my job. Never got into it with nobody on my job that I work at now. I never got into it with nobody. So I would have... A clear memory that me and her past words. I will remember that. I would know. It, it damn that threw me back when she told me that. It threw me back a little bit. Like what? Cause if I, I act like I didn't hear her when she said it to me, I, I played it off. I was like, oh yeah. I'm like, uh huh. I started looking at her like she was crazy. Cause I'm starting to think that maybe she is a little cuckoo. But when she said that, you remember when me and you got into it? And I should stop talking to you. And I'm like, no. In my mind, I'm thinking no. But I really was saying, oh, I guess. But in my mind, I'm like, no. I mean, you never got into it. You just stopped talking to me. You stopped talking to me. You, out of nowhere, didn't talk to me no more. I didn't know why. I wanted to ask her why she stopped talking to me. And I still want to ask her. You know, and I was, I wanted to know, should I ask her? About this, should I bring it up and actually go right? You know, have have we ever actually got into it? Do you remember her? Remember me and you ever? ever I, I want to ask her, like, you know, what was said. 
I want to ask her that. What was said that made you not talk to me? What did I do to make you stop talking to me for like five months? Why were you mad at me? You know, because she was really mad at me. Like, every time she saw me, she didn't say nothing to me. She always walked away. She didn't. She just didn't look my way. She wouldn't say nothing. She acted like I wasn't there. Like, I did something wrong to her. And I didn't do anything. I didn't say nothing wrong to her. I never talked about her to her. Uh, no, I never talked about her to nobody. So I never understood what made her think that. So that's where the matter, the uh, Mandela effect comes in at. Like, was she going through a Mandela effect where and she had a false memory that me and her got into it? Or was I having a Mandela effect that I just don't remember that we did? got into it before and I just don't remember it. it's completely cut out my mind but it it, it I really questioned it and I want to ask her like why like me you never got into it before what are you talking about you know because and then she actually said we got into it she said that we actually had an argument I guess and that would make her stop talking to me I don't know so I just wanted to share that. I mean, it, it probably not be a Mandela effect, but I still feel like that's part of the Mandela effect. Because that kind of that was kind of crazy. Because, you know, first she wasn't talking to me for five months. Then I know where I had a dream that we're back talking. Then days later, we're back talking. And she tells me we wasn't talking because we got into it before. I'm going to have to ask her about that. Maybe I won't, but I just want to know. You know, I don't, it's not that I'm going to her trying to start something. No, I'm not going to her. I'm trying to find out whether I'm crazy or not. I want to know what was said. I want to ask her, Lorraine, you said me and you got into it before, right? You know, I'm just saying any kind of name. So it's not, that's not really her name. So, um, I was like, me and you got into it. Tell me what was being said in this argument. Cause, so I, I want to refresh. I want to see, can I remember it? You know, so I just want to hear what she's going to say. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to see what's going on and see, you know, have we ever really got into a fight before or argument before? Because other than that, I don't remember. Unless I was in another dimension at the time and she was just arguing with the physical body. I don't know. I wasn't there. It wasn't me. You know, it was Shantae. That's, that's the other year, Shantae. Not Clarissa. Not me. It was Shantae. But that's why I wanted to share with you guys about the Mandela effect, I guess. Whatever. But I felt like that was part of the Mandela effect, whatever. That, that was a false memory or something that she was having or either I'm having. I want to know which one of us is having this false memory. <laughs> because I don't remember it happening at all. But, oopsies.